Hey, what is up, you piratical pirates? Hope you've been up to some nautical nonsense. Pirate fashion stereotypes are slightly overdone. Tons of pirates out there make great videos on a very saturated form of content, and I wanted to add my own unique twist on things. Today, we are raiding your pirates from the Sea of Thieves. That's right, the loyal members of my Discord have all diligently submitted their pirate for me to judge. And, if you wish you knew about this sooner, then stay tuned as later in this video I will announce the next category for what I will be ranking. So make sure you join the Discord. Uh, before we get started, obligatorily I have to say, this video is entirely my own opinion. Uh, and nothing more, nothing less. What I say should be taken with a grain of salt. You can dress your pirate however you want, your opinion is yours and my opinion is mine. I, I just had to get that out of the way. Now let's talk tips. I've spent my entire Sea of Thieves career mastering the art of pirate style, as well as researching in the Sea of Thieves official Discord, and after pulling some information from both reading and asking around, I believe I have some good ideas on what some great tips would be for pirates needing a little push in the right direction. After analyzing all of the information that I had gathered, I had realized that all of the usual pet peeves and complaints can be filed into three easy to understand tips. And well, today, I'm going to be telling you guys what those tips are, and then afterwards, ranking your pirates based on how well they fit into those categories. Without further ado, let's talk about tip number one, less is more. This is a no brainer, but I do want to talk about it. There are a lot of pirates out there who love nothing more to, than to dress their pirate in something I would like to call uh, achievement vomit. It's uh, an acute symptom of achievement fever, uh, commonly diagnosed by signs of wearing as many achievement-based cosmetics at once and thinking it looks good, all sandwiched together. Uh, trying to add too much to an outfit can really dampen your entire look just by a single cosmetic, which is why sometimes less is more. For each one of these tips, I'm going to be showing two lovely pirates from my Discord and using them as a great example for this tip. And for starters, we have this hunk of a pirate. Uh, by looking at him, we can see some obvious things that he had intentionally left out. The lack of tattoos and a big curse make this outfit look genuine and more fitting. Uh, instead of it being a clutter to look at, it's simple, refined, and exquisite. It has a very kingly look about him with the crown, as well as the courage of captaincy jacket, as well as the overarching purple theme. It really ties it all together and makes this not look overbearing, but still nice. Uh, those with a keen eye are going to be able to see the Briggsy gloves, so we know that this pirate is indeed a legend, but he's not exactly showing that off. Only those who look will find what they're looking for. See what I'm saying? Less is more. This pirate right here gets a certified Barnacle Berwick seal of approval. There's only a couple things that I could do to make this outfit a little bit better. Uh, maybe by adding a shirt, uh, you could definitely seal it together just a bit more. I would suggest the Daring Deceiver jacket, but at the same time, I feel like this pirate provides an uh, enough uh, amount of macho presence that putting a shirt on would definitely dampen this specific pirate's look. And for our second pirate to fit this category, we have this lovely swashbuckler. From what we can see, they do have the achievement tattoo set, and they do a great job showcasing that. The thing is, most pirates would take this and just simply add it to a much larger, more cluttered outfit, but this pirate didn't. They went with a simple, yet classic pair of baggy pants, big boots, and big belt. You can see that this is an overarching brown outfit with slight hints of red and black accents with the pants, and it also matches with the beard. I'm a huge fan of this because it's not too much, yet it tells you so much about this pirate and does a great job at showing off the achievements this pirate has achieved without letting you know every single little thing this pirate has done. Once again, another Barnacle Berwick stamp of approval. Lesson 2. Sets of 3 will set you free. It's a simple slogan, really, but how does it relate to your pirate's outfit? Well, it's not hard to understand. Sea of Thieves has so many different possible outfit combinations to the point that you will rarely find someone wearing the same exact thing as you on the seas. 
But as we discussed in the previous segment, less is more, too many different aspects of an outfit can damage the look. To summarize, you never want to include more than three different styles and or colors to your pirate. For an example, I can add a bunch of detail to my pirate, Barnacle Berwick. So I love talking about my pirates, this is actually a lot of fun. Uh, as you can see, I have a lot of light blue accents, as it's one of my favorite colors in Sea of Thieves. You can see it on the Wailing Barnacle hat, as well as the Merchant Alliance gloves, as well as the prosthetic peg leg. You see that there's all those light blue accents that really make the hat pop out and fit with this set a lot easier. As you can see with the pants, it's got a two-tone of uh, sort of this slate gray with gold accents, which really do bring out and pop the brown colors of the belt and boots from the Wailing Barnacle set, as well as highlight the silver tones in the belt buckle and shoe buckle. As well as the gold stripes really bring out the eye patches pop, as well as, you know, the pinstripes. And there are a couple gold accents on the Merchant Alliance gloves. Uh, I'm saying all of this because color is a super important thing. I'm about to show you two other examples of me wearing the exact same outfit, but with slightly different variants of the Wailing Barnacle set. To make it simple, I actually added tags for this. So as we can see with the Bristling Barnacle, we, it's got that bit of a green tone on the hat, as well as more purple accents on the belt, as well as a copper tone for the belt buckle. As for the Silent Barnacle, we see a lot more browns and a, a bit more pronounced purple in comparison to the more muted bristling purple belt color. And we see a silver, almost pure silver, with hints of brown aging on the buckles for the Silent Barnacle. And the way that these compare and contrast to each other in comparison to the original Wailing Barnacle set is that the accents that are provided don't pop nearly as much and create almost this vacuum where whenever you do look at, let's say, the Silent Barnacle, yes, it looks good because there's a lot of brown on there and you do get the light blue accent because of the algae on the hat. It's just not as powerful as having one big piece to bring it all together. Okay, another big piece about the sets of three rule is something that could really make or break outfits that is, in my opinion, not talked about enough and also not shamed enough. Let's talk about a big thing, curses. Now, as we can see here, we've got the gold curse and the order of souls curse, two very respectful curses, and they can really make some outfits shine. These are like a solid seven out of 10 for me. But then we have to talk about these guys, because these these are like the two curses that go to a party and they just stand in the corner saying like they don't know they have to do two bad tall tales or something to get me and it's like they're usually put onto outfits that don't really need them and it's just they i've never seen a good outfit with them i've seen good outfits with the ashen curse because you know there's a bunch of ashen stuff but it's rare occur it's just so rare uh, just make sure you're using curses correctly because i feel like these are the main offenders okay and for my skeleton and ghost curse enjoyers out there, there's you don't need to worry. I'm being honest. If you're rocking the ghost curse, your outfit's going to kind of look awesome no matter what you're doing. It, it, I mean, trust me, you can find a way to make it look bad. But skeleton cursors, I'm going to be honest. You guys kind of always look cool no matter what outfit you're rocking. So keep doing you. OK, OK, OK. Enough talk about curses let's get right back on the topic and let's take a look at this awesome submission that was put onto our discord boom wow when i saw this i i knew it was in the video immediately but um this pirate does an excellent job at showing off the sets of three because it they perfectly do it uh they're showing off three different sets in this one outfit you've got the wild rose accents with the inky crack and vanity pieces and by themselves those two things or it's like the mashed potatoes in the salad, right? But then you bring in the Briggsy jacket and it's like Christmas morning. This outfit looks awesome. Further playing into less, and less is more, this pirate left out a couple things like an eye patch, tattoos, a, a curse, and as well as a belt. It just, this outfit looks like it could be too much, but it's perfectly balanced. Looking at this does not make you feel 
uh, vile. It just makes you feel like that is a cool pirate that is wearing this big red coat with a nice golden and red hat. It, it's just cool, and I like it. Yeah, that that's another easy stamp of approval. Another easy, easy addition to this would be this awesome ferocious pirate. At a glance, it seems that this is mostly the Frostbite set, but if you take a closer look, you can see a merchant hat, monocle, as well as the gilded phoenix gloves. And they do differ from the Frostbite sets physically, but they blend in very well together. And it creates a very nice merchant accent to this pirate. And it really ties together this whole look and strays away from the status quo of the Battle Pass outfits. An easy seal of approval. And so we wrap up towards the final lesson, and in my important, the most important. Dress your pirate. It sounds a little redundant because of course you dress your pirate, but there's something that's very important and a lesson to be learned. You remember how I told you to remember that pirate from earlier? Well, I really would like it if you took a look at this. I dressed my pirate up as two of the fabulous models that we had today on our sea of fashion video and i just wanted to point something out my pirate does not look good wearing their outfits i i, I would say that it's my body type or maybe it's the fact that well my pirate was not made for these outfits and it's an important thing to understand a crucial part of sea of thieves fashion is making an outfit for your pirate no one else just yours and a lot of the time you'll find yourself seeing other pirates just copy outfits or wear an entire set of clothing and they wonder why they don't look amazing. That's well, because they aren't taking that extra time to tailor make an outfit for their pirate. Every person on the Sea of Thieves is unique. So why don't you take that first step and put your, your foot in a boot that you've never worn before or maybe you try on that coat that you never tried. Just give it a shot. You can dress your pirate however however you want, but just dress them well, right? Alrighty, now that we're done talking about the lessons in fashion, I'm now going to take a peek over at the rest of the submissions in my Discord, and we're going to fly through them, and I'm going to speed rank them for you, so that we can go ahead and get ready for the next server event. Okay, guys, we're going to be speeding through this, okay? Lightning fast, okay? Maybe like one sentence per and a little bit brutally honest. Let's talk Star War Hulk, okay? First of all, you're a bit of an Emporium warrior, okay? I see you got the Silver Sepulchre glove and then the Plague Doctor mask and all the Ferryman stuff. I like it. You would have been in the video, but I also don't want to set the precedent that you got to spend money to look cool. This is a solid seal of approval from old Berwick here, but, you know... I can't, you know, make that the standard. Sturban, I would suggest for you to move away from the Sunken Curse because I feel like you got a lot of potential with that creative side. And I feel like that you're moving in the right direction. I give this outfit a 6 out of 10, but I want to see more from you, okay? Norum, we already talked about you. You're an easy seal of approval. Uh, Poke Michael, I definitely want to see an update on this one because I think that the use of the Nightshine Parrot hat is a little bit weak. I feel like that there are better hats that match with Grimm's jacket. So find something. Find something that makes it work. This is a 7 right now, but I think it could easily get a seal of approval from me. And maybe, maybe change up the beard, right? I've never been a huge fan of that one. But if you're a fan of it, you know, stick with it, okay? <laughs> this one... Uh, uh, aspect, I think you need to learn a new aspect of fashion. Um, you're not even wearing clothes. This is like a two. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're not wearing anything. I can't really rank that. Uh, Fredericus, you want to make the Ashen Curse cool again? You're doing a great job at it, okay? I dig it. It's always good when you match the Ashen stuff with Ashen Curse. Easy, easy seven. I definitely, I want to see a little bit more inspired. I always see a lot of Ashen Curse with this. Give me something to play with, right? Kutsuki Cool, this is a five right now because you got to make a choice. You've got Wailing Barnacle in there. You've got Bone Crusher. you got Serpent. You've got Parrot. You need to pick one of these and build an outfit off of it. Okay, I want to see an update on this one. D Lazzy, okay, dude. I kind of, I, I got an idea in my head of what you're going with. Like, you're a rogue runaway, right? And 
uh, you you were once a prisoner, but you found this old jacket and you're trying to blend in. And uh, I I that's like what I've gotten. That is the read. Okay. Uh, lose the peg leg. That's it. I think it's a seven. I think it's nice. May W. Uh, wow. Uh, you rarely see pirates that are really rocking, like, like this style. And I'm a huge fan of it. I like this aspect of it. I think you need to commit to a color. Is it the dark brown accents or the solid black and silver accents? You need to make a choice. It's either Hunter or Prosperous, Privateer or Intrepid Explorer. Make that choice. I would say Hunter. I think it would look cool. Okay. Uh, definitely like a six. But I think with those changes, it could easily be like a, a seven or eight. Um, Herb. Oh, there are two of you guys on here that I want. I, I'm demanding updates from Herb. You're one of them. You're showing me a costume with mixed matching curse bandana and eye patch i don't even see what your pirate looks like i want an update it's a one until i get an update uh koji or goa uh or koji i butchered that but still you need to make a choice right uh, commit to the silver you've got the silver sepulcher you've got the silver on the belt silver on the boots get silver on the hat okay find yourself a nice silver hat to work with and work from there i'd recommend the sapphire blade that's just me jp I am diagnosing you with 100% uh, achievement fever, okay? I I need you to to, to go take your med take your meds, okay? And come back to me with a cool outfit. You've got a lot going on here and you've definitely played a bit and I want to see what you can put together. But all of this, it's I want to see what your pirate looks like, not what your cosmetics look like. Does that make sense? cat with no name this is a five it's a solid five it your pirate looks good in the outfit a little uninspired though i want to see more i want to see something a little bit more unique other than a full set but i i could definitely see a good update coming brazilian emperor same thing as herb i want to see an update i'm all i'm seeing is a gold curse with the merchant alliance costume i want to see an update and again, another Pirate Legend eye patch. Give me something good. I des I demand an update in pirate fashion. Amber Sash, seal of approval. You're looking good. I like it. Bert, I want more. You almost made it into the video about the less is more section, but then I just kind of realized you're wearing three pieces of clothing and that's it. Give me more. Okay, that's all I'm asking from you. This is a solid seven. If you could add more right now, it's a five. Ionic beard. You might as well be called iconic beard. Come on, get out of here. Uh, Thomas GM, you were this close to being in the main part of the video. This close, like, like I'm, I'm, I'm pinching with my fingers. You were super close, but I, you were just beat out by the Briggsy outfit because it was a, a better representation of the sets of three. And I, I don't blame it, this outfit's great. I'm really hoping there's a monocle underneath that that wide brim. But no, this is a seal of approval. I like that outfit a lot. Spooky, lose the coat. I think it's being you're being held back by it. And I think your pirate could look really cool without it. Right now, it's like a six, but I think it could easily be an eight if we get to see a little bit more creativity with it. No one 20 expert. Dude, you gotta pick red or blue, and I'm thinking blue. Okay, you're really rocking it. I haven't really seen a pirate like this before, and I might go, I might, you make those changes, it's an easy eight. Right now, it's a seven, okay? But no, and I, hey, I, li I like, I like the barnacle sniper, okay? King Kobe, chef's kiss, almost. I'm noticing that you've got a lot of this brown going on, and don't get me wrong, I think brown is an amazing supporting color for an outfit in Sea of Thieves. I think that yours is just missing actual color. I'm, I'm suggesting uh, probably just a pop, maybe a good undershirt, maybe something like uh, you pick gold or silver and accent it all throughout. Maybe a different eye patch, belt, boots, something. I want a little bit more with this, but I think you can deliver. This is an easy seven. Wyvern66, I demand an update from you. This outfit's a little too all over the place. 
but it your pirate's got potential i like the facial structure and i think it can be somewhere it's a five right now but i want it to be a 10 i demand an update from you Nani JPEG, you might you stole the show in my opinion. This outfit is a winner in my book. It just looks fantastic. And it's not the outfit by itself, it's the fact that the outfit fits the pirate so damn well. Kudos to you. Unironically. I I boom. I just I just reacted to it. Hollow! Thank you for the twofer. Uh, if you gave me individual photos, I definitely would have used you guys as a bit of a reference point for the curses part. But um, I couldn't really. I wanted to see more of your gold hoarder friend. Uh, it's no harm, no foul. You guys are both looking awesome in this. I both give you guys a seven. But I do want to see a little bit more individuality on you guys. Because you are just rocking your, your reps. And I, you know, no no shame to it, okay? It's, it's drippy as hell. But uh, I definitely want to see a little bit more personality. And I mean that in a, like a, like a, not a negative way whatsoever. I, I really do like how well you guys are looking. I just want to see something a little, it breaks the mold a little bit. Dragon. Okay, dude, we got to talk. Pirate lore jacket. It, it's not cool, man. Grind out those. Up. Look at me. Look at me. I know you're looking at I, Yeah, no, look at me. Everyone else look away. Come on, come here. Okay, everyone's not listening anymore. Dude, grind out grind out your hourglass. Do it. Get get to level 190 or whatever it takes to get to the mysterious stranger stuff and rock that, okay? I I won't I won't judge you until you get it, okay? Alright. It's like a seven right now, but it could be a ten with that easy change. Okay? Do that for me. BIM! Ah, Bim, you could have been there. You could have been there. It, I, I would have been contradicting myself if I gave you a seal of approval. You're like a nine. You just need to make a couple small changes. You need to lose either the tattoos, the scar, the eye patch. It's just too much clutter right here. Everywhere else, it's a bit of a bad angle, but I think it looks good. Maybe if you lost the belt, I think it could be perfect. Easy nine. <laughs> Sam is a bucket. Come back when you put clothes on. Come on, man. Uh, Big Lion 95. I see you're rocking the serpent stuff from the chest of fortune. Give me more. I want to see more. Okay. Oh, I got the hiccups now. But I want to see more. I got to lock in for this last one. Chesley. I'm liking it. Your pirate's very unique. Like I said earlier, the pirate lord jacket. I would change it to something, but I think your pirate's kind of rocking it more than dragon. And just because it looks like your pirate was grabbed by the leg and flung at 500 miles per hour into a wall in a good way. Like, he looks a little rough and beat up, and I like that. Uh, the only thing that I would say is probably lose the peg leg, maybe lose the eye patch. Show off that face. I think it's very unique, and I think it's beautiful. I think you should show it off. Um, aside from that, though, I think we're wrapped up. I'll kick it back over to the big announcement. Now, before I get into what the next category is going to be for my Discord server's submission channel, we need to talk about a very serious topic. You need to like and subscribe the video. That's right. Normally, I've been told that I need to say this at the beginning of videos, but I refuse to. In the right now, I suppose. But, uh, please consider... I would really appreciate the support and it would kind of help fuel me a little bit towards that 1k special because I definitely have something in mind and I got a lot of footage for it recently but I just need uh, a little bit more time on that one but I would love all the support that you guys can give and I'm already super proud of all of you guys so without further ado let's talk about the next step Introducing the newest category for our submissions channel the second that this video goes live. I want you, all of my lovely Discord members, to post your best galleon. That's right. I want to see your best ship. A crew of four people, if you will. I don't want no sloop, no brigantine, just galleons. I need to see them big and grandiose and all of the requirements and rules will be on the Discord. So go ahead and join that. Link is in the description. 
Uh, thank you guys all for watching, and I really, really look forward to seeing what you guys do. Anyways, take care. And as always, pirates, I will see you when I see you.